What's up YouTube, this is Prince with ATP 101 and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to get ready for the iOS 10.3.0 to 10.3.2 jailbreak. So a couple of weeks ago Pangu showed off a 10.3.1 jailbreak for the iPhone 7 and pretty much all 64 de bit devices we are assuming but they, de they demonstrated on an iPhone 7. So that's really good news. And yesterday, yesterday, a couple of days ago, Apple released iOS 10.3.2, which we're not sure if patched that jailbreak. But if you want to be like me and get ready for the jailbreak, this iPhone that I have right here is on iOS 10.1.1. But I'm going to upgrade to iOS 10.3.1 just to be safe because if Apple, if Pangu released the jailbreak, we absolutely sure it's going to work for iOS 10.3.1 because that's what they demoed the jailbreak on. So it might work from 10.3.0 all the way up to 10.3.1 and hopefully 10.3.2 and also 10.3.3 which is in the first beta as I'm making this video. So you don't have to update. You could stay on whatever firmware you're on. You could be on 10.2.1 Whatever firmware you're on, you could stay there, but I'm going to upgrade to 10.3.1 because that's that's what I feel like I should be on and the jailbreak whenever the jailbreak is released. And Apple is still signing iOS 10.3.1 at the moment, so it it will be a seamless um, upgrade and I won't lose any of my any of my information on my device. And also you want to back up your phone, go on iTunes. iTunes. Make sure to back up your phone and also you want to save your SSH blobs, SSH2 blobs. I have a video link in the description to that and also at the end of this video will be the only video on the screen next to the subscribe picture. So make sure to subscribe and then you could click that video and watch how to save your SSH2 blobs. So yeah, we're gonna. I'm going to upgrade. This is how I'm going to get ready for the 10.3.1 jailbreak whenever it's released. So you don't have to do this. This is just my way of going about it. So I'm going to upgrade to 10.3.1. You have to download the firmware. A link to that firmware will be in the description. You could go on the website, download the firmware for any one of your devices that you have. Mine is right here on my desktop. So then you're going to go to iTunes. On Windows, it's going to be Shift, Update. Make sure to back up your device, but on Mac, it's going to be option update. And once you do that, it's going to prompt you to basically select the firmware and you're going to go to your desktop and you're going to search for the firmware. So this firmware right here, iPhone 7 Plus 10.3.1, you want to hit open. You want to hit update and make sure to back up your system guys make sure to back up all your stuff because he's doing this thing right there it's extracting software and basically I'll come back after this whole update process is done let me show you real quick what version I'm on I'm on and always if you want a jailbreak always update using the computer never do the up the over-the-ear updates as you can see right here I'm on 10.1.1 and I have 80 gigs available. So after I update to this whole new file system, I should have at least five more gigs available. So let's see after this whole thing is done. Okay guys, we're almost done. As you can see right up here, it says 10.3.1 already. Put in my passcode. Okay, so there we go, guy. That out of the way. So there we go. Let's go to settings. General about. And as you can see right there, ten point three point one, and that's the way you update using your own IPA. 
because Apple is still signing 10.3.1 so that's the way to do it guys so you don't have to do this you could go any way you want you could stay on the lowest firmware if you want you could update to 10.3.1 if you want but definitely do not update to 10.3.2 because we're not sure if the jailbreak works for 10.3.2 yet so this is my way of going about it it's Prince with ATP 101 rate comment definitely subscribe peace thanks for watching